All right, you guys, so I'm gonna check out some CRT text effect here on Photoshop. Now, of course, this is not the original CRT trick, but this was the plan for today, and it was kind of challenging too. First, I'm gonna go with the black artboard, which is 1080p, and then I'm gonna create a new one, and the width here, I'm gonna make it eight by six. Click OK. Zoom in, and here I'm gonna select the rectangle, make sure it's on black, and I'm gonna draw a rectangle so this is gonna be like two square by seven squares and it's gonna go here. I gotta press and hold alt, drag it to create a new duplicate and I gotta put this right here. So we're talking about like three by two squares and the next one is gonna be four by two squares. I also gonna go to adjustments and select, where is that? Invert and it should look something like this. We're gonna need to merge the layers. I gotta press control shift plus E. So let's go to the edit and here we're gonna need to go to define pattern. Click OK. Now let's go back to the original artboard with the 1080p size. And then first we're gonna make the pattern here. Let's go down, select pattern, click on it. And we're gonna need to change up the pattern and select the new pattern here. And then you can scale this up. For example, I'm gonna go with like 450, click OK. I'm gonna uncheck it, select the background, select the type tool, add some text. For the font, I'm gonna go with press start 2p. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description so you can download it. Next, I'm gonna activate the pattern and I'm gonna right click on it, select convert a smart object and I'm gonna change up the blend mode to multiply. I'm also gonna go to the filter, go to blur, select Gaussian blur and here I'm gonna add 1.2, a little bit more blur and then I'm gonna go to the text, right click, convert a smart object, let's go to the filter, go to blur, select Gaussian blur, this is gonna be 1.5 and then press Ctrl J to duplicate. And I'm gonna select the bottom one, double click on it. This is gonna be 14, click OK. Press Ctrl J again to duplicate, select the bottom one, double click on the Gaussian blur. I'm gonna make this 140, click OK. I'm also gonna go to the opacity and decrease it somewhere around 57. Select it, press Ctrl G again, select the bottom one, increase the opacity back to 100 and double click on the Gaussian blur and this is going to be 140 again. Next I'm going to select the top text layer here. Let's go to the adjustments, select the gradient map, click on the gradient and I'm going to add another handle here, change up the color, make it green and click OK as well. I'm also going to select the pattern layer, go to adjustments, select the curve and here you can increase or decrease or add more contrast to the CRT effect. Probably gonna leave it like this. Select the top layer and we're gonna select the solid color. Click OK. Let's go to filter, noise, add noise, convert to smart object and I'm gonna go with like 35. Click OK. And let's go and change up the blend mode and I'm gonna select the screen. And pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.